Greetings. In Christian Treasures, it's inspired by Philippians 4 8. You know the verse, whatever's true, whatever's lovely, set your mind on these things. Take a few moments to set our mind on things that are above, to get our, our eyes off of the things of this world. And what I want to do is I want to share some of my favorite stories uh, regarding the ministry of Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. It will particularly all be focused on Abravon Wells in the 1930s. And there's a Mr. Harry Wood who comes to wonderful faith in the Lord, becomes born again. But as a young man, uh, before he became a Christian, uh, he loved soccer and he was gainfully employed, uh, working somehow in the, in the sewing industry. Um, but he fell on hard times, like many others. There was a Great Depression in the 1930s, and Mr. Wood was unsuccessful in finding employment. He would say that he would escape, if he could um, come up with the money, to go to a cricket match. And he would say that uh, he would lay down all of his problems as he entered in the North Gate, enjoyed the cricket match very much. And then as he entered the South Gate, he would pick his burden back up. So it was a life of vanity, a life of, of defeat, of unable to solve these uh, spiritual problems, um, that these sins that he was carrying around with him on his back. But as he put it, then he said, I came into this church one Sunday evening, sat in the gallery and heard the doctor preach. He preached to me and showed me the way where I could enter by the north gate and go out the south with all of my problems solved. Mr. Wood got wonderfully saved. And though he was elderly in age, um, but new as a Christian, he had very good uh, spiritual uh, insight. And so while Mr. W um, Wood was would continue to struggle with unemployment and, and finding um, a gainful and uh, dependable employment, he committed himself to the service of Christ every day every day. He always was um, faithful in attending all the church functions, especially the prayer meetings. But he would serve Christ out on the streets as he would walk around the community, sharing the love of God and the gospel message with others. And on a faithful Good Friday morning, there was a prayer meeting. And at the conclusion of it, the doctor sensed that Mr. Wood was somehow disappointed. And he asked him, Harry, what's wrong, brother? And he conveyed to the doctor that it was such a sweet time that he, quote, that he wanted to go straight home from such a prayer meeting. The brother was disappointed that the Lord didn't bring him straight home from such a prayer meeting. Well, on Monday evenings, there was always a weekly prayer meeting. I think it began at 7.15. Sometimes it would go for an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, sometimes three hours. And people would always say that um, the, the, the time just went quickly. It just never, you know, like when they were there for three hours, it seemed like 30 minutes kind of thing. And the doctor, it was his practice, and I think this is really insightful, to not be the center of everything, right? So... The prayer meeting on Monday was about prayer. So the doctor uh, would, um, without any advance notice, would ask somebody to read some scriptures so people came prepared. And perhaps the doctor might suggest to him, but that's it. It was about prayer. And so perhaps the doctor, just knowing what was on, on uh, Harry's heart, asked Harry to read some scriptures, and he read from um, John 17. John 17. Christ's highly pre, uh, priestly prayer. And he read it so well with such unction. It was one of those moments where it's like the doctor and others felt like they're just in the presence of God. And as Harry began to sat down, the doctor heard a large exhale. And he opened his eyes, and just in the nick of time, he was able to catch Mr. Wood in his arms and gently sent him to the ground. And Mr. Wood went home to heaven at that prayer meeting. The doctor uh, dismissed the prayer meeting, 
I think I would read later on in another book that the congregation carried this man's at the funeral service, carried him from the church to the cemetery. It was often said that this was a uh, start of a revival. It's a revival within the church and within the local community. Simply because out of the care and love that this Christian church showed by carrying Mr. Wood's body to the cemetery, through the town, that it got people's attention. Perhaps people were quickened by the fact that we're all going to die someday. And what is our relationship? Where where do we stand when we think about eternity, you know? So the doctor would comment, as well as other church members, it was this experience. What Harry Wood expressed, how God brought him home, just how faithful he was, that made them all more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And they were forever grateful for this man. What a remarkable story, a true story, about how wonderful our Lord moves and how he saves souls. And um, may we be like Mr. Wood when it comes to that we would have a desire to go home. But in the meantime, let us draw ever so closer to God so that we would have full assurance and let our fusion of 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 task and talent be very tightly together that we would listen to our Lord and follow through on what he has assigned us. That there is no task that is too small. Well, let me leave it there. Until next time, grace upon grace be with you all.